so hello guys so welcome to this video in the previous video I was uh, talking about this problem uh, this Facebook interview question that was on the lead code about valid parenthesis so I did that by uh, using a function and the normal methods but there was some kind of a problem but, uh, but in this video we're going to talk uh, we're going to do that by using recursion so let's take a look at the question again so it's given a string containing just the characters of the braces determine if the input string is valid and input string is valid if the open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets and open brackets must be closed by the correct order and now these are the given strings okay so let's go to our editor and look at it okay so let's create a new file let's call it brack underscore recur dot pi so how we're going to approach the problem is uh, let's say we have an expression like this uh, let's go over here so what it's going to do it's going to take the first uh, it's going to uh, iterate through the string and it's going to take the first character this first character and it's going to send uh, at the every uh, it's going to send the substring that is present with the ending character like this one the whole character is going to send in the recursion call and it's going to get evaluated then it's going to be go over on the rest of the loop and evaluate it so let's take a look at it so as before we did we need a mapping because each time uh, in a recursion call each time mapping would be generated on the memory stack and it's going to be having a, a complex uh, memory so we will start by creating that so let's go and create this okay over here let's go and create this go up and and here we go okay so this is created our mapping then we need to create a def of brackets as we did earlier and we're gonna need an expression okay now we're gonna say if uh, our exp is double equals to a blank string it's going to return true because for blank string it is true okay now we'll be go back in and we need a pointer so ptr we're going to say pointer is equals to zero and we need to say while the pointer is less than uh, len of uh, exp okay now we are going to start to iterate so we need to uh, have the matching uh, so let's say if we have uh, let's do an example over here let's say we have like this let's say we have the first bracket over here so we need to find the index of this closing uh, uh, first bracket and then we're going to send everything that is between the first closing bracket and the second closing bracket so essentially this uh, pair of brackets okay so let's go so first things we need to find uh, the index or rather the match so equals to uh, we're going to take the help of the dictionary that we created dot get and over here we are going to send the exp of uh, the ptr okay so we're going to send that so now we're going to check if uh, match is double equals to none then we're going to return false okay now we're going to check now we are going to take uh, the index position now we have to find out the index position of the closing press so match underscore index is equals to uh, mapping no so uh, is, is exp dot find and we want to find the value of match now the why we're using the find function not the index function because if the match is not found the find will return a negative one and in the case of uh, index it would uh, throw an error so we need to uh, have the negative one so if uh, match underscore index is double equals to negative one is going to return one uh, is going to return false now we go over here and we have to have a result the resultant value should be so we have to de initialize the resultant value which is the result is equals to true over here now we need to find the boolean expression so result would be equals to result uh, and uh, whatever results and true okay 
result and not true because we're going to send in the brackets and we're going to send in the exp of p plus 1 2 everything until the matched index okay and then we have to set reset the value of p to uh, matched index plus 1 okay and uh, the explanation for this is uh, we're getting an error in p is it will be ptr and it would be ptr okay cool now uh, the explanation for this is uh, maybe in some cases it is true uh, why we're doing an and because maybe in some cases this uh, brackets would uh, evaluate to true maybe in some cases it's going to evaluate to false if one of the cases is false the whole expression should become a false so that's why we're using an and so that we could reset the value to true and false if any one of the function call in the brackets is false the whole expression will become false so that's why we're using an and so that we have the uh, the original result or the desired result now what we need to do is going to go up the while loop and return our uh, result so let's go let's quickly create an expression equals to input over here we have created an input we have to do is input okay and then we are going to print And we will put in the expression, uh, expression, and we're gonna call the brackets with the expression. Okay, let's run this. So let's go clear out the screen and run the back. It's a recur. Let's do this, this, this. Um, Let's change it a little bit like this. Over here, let's hit enter. It gives us a false. Let's do a correct expression. And it returns a true. Let's do a blank string. Uh, let's do a blank string. Blank string returns a true. So this was our code, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please do subscribe my channel. It would be a great if you do. It would be amazing. So I end the video over here. Take care guys and be uh, ready to be coding again. So see you again in my next video. Bye bye.